Hello? Where are you? Your mom's house? How can you didn't tell me you were going to spend the night at your mom's house? I was acting too angry. I was angry. But whose fault was that? I need to learn to, I need to learn to control my anger. Did I wake up angry yesterday? Or are you the one that made me angry? No, 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 no. You're not making any sense. You made me angry. And then instead of coming to solve that problem to help me to calm down, you decide to stay away and sleep at your mom's house. So I should find somewhere to sleep to. Whenever you piss me off, I should find somewhere to sleep to. No, no, whether, whether you are afraid of the trouble, the problem you have caused in your home or not, you need to come back and face it like a man and find a solution like a man. You don't leave. You still got responsibility here, whether I'm angry or not. Because first of all, you the one made me angry. If you want to be comfortable in your own home after you made me angry, you're supposed to manage that anger there so I can calm down. You don't tell me to manage my anger. I'm not the one who, who pissed myself off. If I piss myself off, I can manage that anger myself. But you the one piss me off. You not come home to say eh, 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 sorry. You not come home to do anything to help me to calm down. You go to your mom's house to sleep there. So you you so wait, you're gonna sleep there for the rest of your life? Because when you until you come back and make me to come back, calm down and apologize, this anger will still be in me. You don't run away from your problems. No, no, no. That's not that's not how it works. That's not how it works. Did I wake up angry yesterday? No, I didn't wake up angry yesterday. You understand? My anger been sitting under my feet, money is business. That you the one had to do something to piss me off. That anger got in my major artery, traveled all the way to my heart, you know, and enter all my veins, enter my karate artery, went to my brain, into all the small, small capillaries, hit all my brain cells, hit everything that in my head, and it exploded. Now, the action that came out now, the reaction that came out, that, hey, you running from. And you know you the one made me angry. You the only person that can calm this anger down. You don't want to cause the problem. You don't want to solve the problem. You don't run away from it. And then tell me I need to manage my anger. It's not my anger. It's an anger that you cause. So that's your anger. It's not mine. No, I'm making sense. Think about it. You didn't even you didn't even call to say sorry. You didn't come back to say sorry. You didn't come back to, to you know to be a man and try to help me calm down. You rather go run into your mom's house and, and, and sit down there without coming home. You were supposed to come home. So you, do like your friend can do. Go buy something special with a bouquet of rose, bring it. Along with some of my favorite food from Apple Beast, you bring it and say sorry, hold me, feed me with the food, kiss me as you feed me, massage me from my head to my toes to calm me down, take me downtown, you know, let me eat for the second time, take me on the canal, let's go for a boat ride. After that, you know, book an expensive hotel downtown. Yes, on the uh, uh, hotel. No, we can't do whatever in the house here. You piss me off in this house. So in these walls, I get reminded of what you did to me. So if you take me downtown in the most expensive hotel, um, look, I, it's going to help me to relax. Nothing will remind me. It's going to help me to relax. I'm just going to get over and forgive you and act like you didn't do anything. So I'm telling you, look, listen, I'm telling you how to calm me down. Because if I were to piss you off, and you were angry, and your anger was out of your control, I will not call you and tell you, say, babe, you need to learn to control your anger. No, it will be my anger because I call it, so I will try to manage it and then make sure you calm down. Do everything you like. Do everything you like on another level too. Take it to another level and do it so that you can calm down. But no, you want to go sit down to your mom's house and then tell me I need to Manage my anger and my emotion. Don't you know anger comes with emotion? Exploration of emotion? You need to get it straight. I'm not making some sense. I'm making nothing but sense. It's not some. 
Everything I'm saying making sense. Nothing about it is some sense. Everything about it is sense. Uh uh. When you pay somebody off, you don't tell the person to manage their anger. You are the reason why the anger is even happening. So you go and make sure you manage that anger. Let it calm down. Huh? Bring everything back to a, a peaceful state. Then you go say that, oh, okay. Until you're ready to calm down this anger that you cause. Don't come home. Because if you come home, this anger will be worse. And you sleeping all that, not even said telling me, I'll, I'll, I'll show him out that you even at your mom's house. Eh? That's even making it worse. That's adding fuel to the fire. And then you want to tell me, I'm going to manage anger. Is it my anger? It's not my anger. You the one cause it. That you the one should manage it. What kind of nonsense is there? I woke up in the morning. I was in my right state of mind, happy. You know, being a wonderful wife and best friend. I always been smiling and doing my duties. You go do something to piss me off. Then you say, I'm going to manage the trouble that you caused. The problem that you knew the one supposed to manage it. You know, I'm supposed to find a way to calm me down. Don't tell me to, to calm myself down and manage my anger. You, that's your anger. My anger is your anger. Your anger is my anger. And then, when I cause anger to you, then I manage it. You cause anger to me, you manage it. That's how it's supposed to be. What is this here? You might come home until you're ready to calm me down. And I already told you how you should come home. So make sure you come home right. And then the conversation will go from there. And make sure you do the rest. That's the only way I will calm down. If you want to be sleeping to your mom's house, sleep there. I'm not responsible for anything as long as you sleep into your mom's house. And as long as you sleep into your mom's house, don't question me about anything while you sleep into your mom's house. And you going back to soft tete? Hmm? And you going back to lay in your mom's bosom and play baby? And you going back so your mom can put diaper on you, take care of you, and, and, and be as, uh, responsible for your well-being, your emotional, everything, uh, sex, everything. Wait, you... Yeah, I was going there too. I was gonna say that too because hey, you the you 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 left. You become a grown man. You left your mama house. You cause trouble in your house. And you want to as a man? You running back to your mom? Why are you running back to your mom? Why are you running back to your mom? You are grown. You shouldn't be running back to your mom. You should stay here. I'm your new mom. I'm your new everything. Okay, I'm your new family. Everything. I'm your new generation. You supposed to stay here. But you can still, you, as long as you stay to your mama, I'm not responsible for anything. I'm not going to question you. And don't call me to question me. If you see me anywhere doing anything, don't bother me. Yes, that's how it is. And you want to abandon your, whole, your household, your family, and everything, your wife? And you want to abandon? And you tell me to manage your problem that you cause instead of you coming to manage it? Yes, yes, that's how it is. When you come home like a man and come home, I'll need you to come home, then we'll talk. Now, I'm not being disrespectful. You don't want me being disrespectful. What's wrong with you? I'm doing a conversation, man. Yeah. Bye.